What up, world? It's your homeboy, Mag357. Let's get to it. I got a few things I got to do right quick. I got an order. Let's go. It's all right. I can't show you no can't show you address. My YouTube blasted on me. Um, hard as a rock. Not smooth, but that's just the first part of the process. We got to put another one on there to get it smooth. Then we're going to lay our decal on. We're not worried about this right now, though. We're just going to get it out of our way. Um, earlier, if you was watching that video, I cleaned, you know, just do like this. And that, that epoxy comes off. Because this is plastic, like I told you. I took the ruler and I just scraped the epoxy that was left over on the outside edges. And guess what? Boop! It came up. So, it is what it is. Just now that you know that, I just want you to know. Plastic is your friend. Of any kind. Even... You know, any kind of plastic, it really don't even matter. It can be a trash bag for all I care. You can peel the epoxy away. But if it's something, a hard surface or whatever, it's on there. So, let's first of all move this out the way. And that's going to be a part of our sign. But look at the glitters, though. Before I even do all this, look at the glitters. Ooh, I'm just popping. Nasty action. I'm just telling you anyway. Um... Uh, I might leave this here. But what I want to do is I'm going to trade it out for this other one over here. So how long are we going to get to it? Switch it out with that one. Since this one don't have no epoxy on it at all, it's still a little greedy. I don't want to make sure I don't make sure I don't get nothing on it. So, boom. This is what we're working with. This is the Air Jordan uh, Spike 40 edition. Um, guy hit me up and let me know, man. Look, bro. I bought these shoes or whatever. And Facebook didn't even alert me the dude bought the shoes. I'm so glad that he bought the shoes. And I'm so glad that he come in and told me. Well, otherwise, I wouldn't know. Cause it wasn't no, it wasn't nothing popped up. Told me what to do next or nothing. But after uh, after I confirmed what I'm doing right here, this is rock hard from um, probably. We gonna hope this is not epoxy. It could be. We gonna hope that it's glue or something. But at the end of the day, this is acetone, and I'm gonna give it a little pinch or whatever. We gonna make it soft again. So you keep them pristine. Yeah, my first, my, my first pair of sneakers, I really... And I watch, uh, YouTube a lot. Y'all know that. Okay. I had the little brush flag on them and everything. Kind of like the Reebok Classic, probably. Yeah. I just could have got me a whole nother brush, but I want to use this one. Because it's the small brush. It gets into those nooks and crannies like I needed to get. I didn't have the bags on. I gotta be careful with this because this will pump and shoot, you know, right up to you on the camera there. So, we really can't tell what this is on. Uh, hold on. Well, I got scrap everywhere. Scrap of t shirt, scrap of. But that's okay. They all do that. I can just glue it down if I feel like it, but I don't feel like it. <coughs> so. I honestly think this is what I used for that, uh, that re-glue I did that one time. And how much, you know, you've had tons of success on Billboard, but how much getting, like, a... Yeah, as you can see now, it's turning back into the brush that it was before <laughs> I get that off, because I want it. And what about all the collabs? You said a mental, I saw, like, Jimmy Fallon, you wore the Joe Fresh Goods, yeah. 992. And yeah, we scraped. Let's get it. Different new balances or so, different with, like, um... Like I'd like to say so. They, they've been getting so crazy with the collabs the last two years. It's really been perfect timing for me. Got some Angelus white acrylic leather paint. 
It also works on this type of rubber. All we're gonna do is just touch up this uh this white. Probably should have already had it taped off, but you know, it is what it is. Let's move some stuff out the way so we can get some clarity on what we're doing here. Okay, and what I do since it's just this, I only needed to cover up this black right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just attack that black. And so right here, take this piece off. See, that's what I'm saying. So this is what we're going to do, because I cannot have my paint flipping over on me. It's not going to happen. So, lesson learned. Let's move all this shit out the way. So you know that, uh, that Biden shirt that I've been making? Um, I got into it with some people. Of course, you know what kind of people. I didn't get into it with these people. I got into it with these people. And uh, so I can't cuss on Facebook. I go straight to Facebook jail. So it is what it is. Um, because whatever reason they thought it was a physical challenge every time they seen that shirt pop up to have a comment about it. But it was selling. And it's still selling today. So. All you do is you take this tip right here and you just run it. Take right in here. Alright, so right here, I'm gonna politely pick up on that, and then that spot, ooh, yeah. Yeah. Right, the customer themselves, they wanted them. You know, they accepted them the way that they are. But I was never going to send them out like that. You know, I'm a um, sneaker restorer. So, that's what we're getting ready to do right now. And I got a, uh, a Krylon matte finish. We're going to lay over the top of that to seal it in. And then his baby boy can kick, kick him out again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Instead of them being, you know arriving already messed up he gonna get a kick out of this when he see how fresh they finna be okay just making sure because it didn't look like it was gonna do anything so 
I'm just gonna tape up the jagged pieces here. But like these panels here, I'm not. Cause you know how I get down, steady handed. I ain't gotta do this side really. But right up in there, I'm just gonna attack these pieces. No more talk, let's get to it. Make sure my, my brush is still flexible. Alright, so there we go. So since I got so much, let's start back here. I'll just kind of tap and stretch it out. And come back over here. like a thousand times better like I say the customer like literally hit me up hey boss I, uh, I ordered this and uh, I need that ASAP I was like what he was like yeah go check your the order stuff. I was like how do I do that I didn't even have it set up you know what I mean and that's the thing about Facebook they really don't Give you the correct uh, notifications, and they don't really just walk you through all the stuff you're supposed to be doing. But I guess. But he got he helped me get it right, so I got it right. Now, anytime I get on this black right here, take your finger, take a nail, and get it off. That's why I don't use uh, tape on certain things. And newsflash, this is painted anyway. A lot of folks don't think that it is, but it is. Now I got on the black a little bit. Make sure you go up in there. It's crazy. Yeah, that was the end of anything with me and Nicole. It all worked out. The other classic scene I was watching last night, New York City downtown shops had... So this is different. We don't want to go on. So we have to... There was some, like, intimidation to go in. Remind me a little bit of Jeffrey's skit. Jeffrey, I wrote... Yeah, I came up with this idea I wrote with Matt Pima. I was actually in, I want to say, Barney or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I walked in, and I, I was on SNL. I kind of had some money. And I go, I'd like to get a nice suit. And the guy goes, um, you're on Broadway. <laughs> and I go, this is on suits here. He's like, yeah, you, you should have to third floor. Okay. I go, and then I wanted something on this floor. Like, this is all like Gucci and whatever. He's like, right. You should maybe check out the third floor. So I want something from this floor. He's like, no. Little did they know. I said, come on. Crazy part about it, man, I woke up this morning and I just went to itching like crazy. And I didn't know where the money was gonna come from. You know what I mean? <laughs> but guess what? Here it is. That's where the money coming from. The shit is today. So it, it is what it is. I just I just wait. And once my hand get to itching, I, I scratch and say I claim it. Whatever it is, I claim it. And trust me, fam, I got shoes on shoes. There's three wide, two wide. I got rid of some other Jordans, like all of my Jordans that I had, it was 4Y, 5Y, 7Y, 8Y, 
sold out quickly between um between me and my girlfriend. She posted some stuff on hers. And then I posted these. I had been had these posted. But we're gonna have to let this dry and then we come back with a second coat. Well otherwise we're just gonna be moving the paint out of where we need it to actually go. So this one, as you can see, ain't as bad. We gotta keep going. We're just gonna let it dry for now, and then we'll be able to put another coat on top. So it is some areas right over here. I don't use a lot of paint because all I'm trying to do is just give it a touch up. It's not that bad. So. I'm just gonna refresh it for the, for the kid. Then we're gonna take the uh, crawling on mat, uh, yeah, crawling on mat finish and hit this whole bottom area up with it. You know, wrap it in the bag, wrap the top part in the bag, tape off where the blue is touching, and it's on. And I know my customer is gonna be blown away because he's not expecting it. He ain't paid nothing but like 30 for him, so. I'm gonna have that shipping and tracking number put in tomorrow. And there is a slight delay when you do this on Facebook, so you don't get, it's just like, it's just kind of like eBay. For your first few um, sales, you have to prove that you uh, are legit by, you know, the customer will confirm that they got their order. Do the same tracking number. And when the post office person delivers it, they will mark it off on their little device that they got. And then cha ching, it's in my account, which is already set up. So I heard that uh, Biden is supposed to be helping people like. The entrepreneurs. I need that. Because I do a whole lot of different stuff. Well, I'm saying I don't, I, that's why I can't even sit around and be listening to some of the hood talk. Because y'all got the G A M E effed up when it comes to these shoes and shit. You don't even respect the market like that. You don't even understand that it's thousands of dollars. I just had to find my own. Um, I have to find my customer. Well, the customer has to find me. And Duke hit me up from, uh, what is it, Johnson, Johnson City, Tennessee. It's right there on my thing I wrote down. But I can't show y'all the address, of course. I'm going to protect that person and their uh, information like that. You know what I mean? But we see that these are black black marks these are not well they scuffs if you can call them that but it doesn't take it all the way down to the rubber so we're gonna put a little paint where it ain't then we're gonna, we're gonna put the sealer on it to keep it in i get people arguing with me all the time you both to tape i don't i don't tape it off every time like right here I might just decide, hey, I might want to freehand something off in there. Because it ain't that bad. The other one was bad. But the less you put on your uh, brush, the actual more control you have, as you can see. Now, if I go out, like I told you, come in and you scratch that piece off. Because what you let dry stays with the shoe, in theory. Again, there's a sweatshop where somebody sits there and paints the shoe. That's not a machine. What? <laughs> Come on now. These are handmade shoes. Yes, a machine helps them, but it's still a human who has an inspection ID and production ID, all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me a contract because. Me and a few other people I know, we cold at what we do. I 
I get people all the time, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. Bro, I need you to be in pocket. I need you to actually get the shoe to me. Because it ain't going to fix itself. You hear me? And if you don't want to do it, what I'm doing, because, man, your eyes get blurry, I think I'm going to mess up my eyesight a little bit doing this stuff. But guess what? I'm still going to do it. Now, I can't let this hit the... I can, but it has to be at an angle. So, let me figure that out. Like how I'm going over, it really ain't gonna matter to me. You'll see why. So of course I went over. Well, I can take this. Cause it's just scrap. Go in and clean it up. Yeah, that's how you do it. You know the secrets, man. It, just, it is what it is. Apply that junk to everything that you do from then on. Um, and you're good. Okay, so right here, I have to go in with my fingernail. Really, really close on it and scratch that back. Like I said, this Angeles leather paint, it does not do anything but form a skin. And once I put my sealer on it, it is what it is. It will stay exactly like I painted it. So we're going to go back with the factory stuff. I showed you the correct way because I. Uh, taped it off on this one because it was pretty bad but this one is great and like I say go back in I'm in a sneaker restore group. And there's people in there. It's like hella people in there. Every freaking month, dude puts up a, uh, one of my lives. It's like them niggas ignore me. They still be asking the dumbest questions. Like, oh damn, you ain't you. Nobody has put me out the number one spot and contributed in somebody else's group. I'm like, dude, I'll be right here the whole time and y'all don't say nothing to me. I, I don't understand people. Like, damn, open your eyes. Look up. I'm right here. I know you see Mag Wiz. But you choose not to see me. It's all good. That's how my life has always been. Y'all niggas that like y'all don't know nothing about me. But what somebody else got to say. And the shit they saying is wrong. So. Yeah, it is. Like you don't see this greatness. <laughs> but like, um, I went to SAU Tech, right? They taught us how to use paints and everything. Um, some of your, some of my, um, well, they're my classmate and my cousin. There's a police officer from Camden uh, Police Department. Y'all know who I'm talking about. She was also in the classes that uh, I was taking. She'll probably tell you if she can remember, which I think she can. I used to go hard in that class. Me and this white dude, we were neck and neck, but I had A's in my junk. I would tape stuff off sometimes, and sometimes I'd go in there and draw something on in, go straight to the line and just stick to it. 
My teacher couldn't stand the way that I did stuff because I can get done. I'd be sitting there looking and looking at and messing with folks. So he was like, hey, if you're done, then you can get up and leave. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I might miss something. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, they would be doing extra stuff or the same stuff. And this literally is the exact paint that they putting on the shoe. That jump is nice. We're gonna, we're gonna hold off on this one. Let the thing dry like we did the other one. And we get the other one. And we're gonna work on it again. I see a little, little spot in this train line. I don't too much like it. All you do is take your edge. Yes, sir. I'm trying to nasty now. So my customer is going to be thrilled when they get this right here and see the condition that the shoe is in. And then like I say, it's going to be up to his son to scuff him up like normal. You don't have a steady hand. I know why you're taping. I get it. I can, like I said, I can literally put paint right there. Okay? They probably gave somebody a heart attack. <gasps> I can't believe you did that. Look, look. Lift my finger. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Puff that. And it's gone. But you let dry stay with your shoe. Shit ain't rocket science. But it is. When you're confident about the media that you're using, paintbrush, paints, and even the shoe material. <laughs> you don't worry about stuff like that. Like like right there where I went over. Take it. If you got a fingernail, you can scratch it off. Notice I'm not using this. This is too sharp. I don't want to cut my material and cause any more damage. Now, all of my shoes have been painted already, so I don't need any extra, you know what I'm saying? I could do a, I got a Jordan too. They could use some white. You just flatten your brush out, hit this white up. What goes over goes over. But right up in here, I see where I did not put any paint. Come on, where is it at? Yeah.
So boom, got that done. This is a Jordan. Spizite like 40 or Spike 40. This is a 3Y. I understand people like some people in my world. I don't I don't get why you just don't throw the shoe away. Do you throw your car away when somebody runs into your car that you paying good insurance on and they didn't tow it out? Do you throw that car away? Or do you get that motherfucker fixed? <laughs> yeah, you gonna get it fixed. So I ain't tripping about what y'all talking about. I'm just saying, I know how boys do. But that's the key. I'm a man, y'all boys. So anyway, if you got a problem with that, you know where I'm at. You can say whatever you want to say. Then you know I'm gonna say something back, right? So y'all just know, just know that I don't care about you hating on me. I don't care about what you got to say. I done made so much money in the LBC. It's kind of hard being sued. M-A-G. I'm just saying. But somehow, somewhere, I keep coming up with funky ass creations like every single day. Let me start spinning bars on y'all, bro. May I paint a little something on my J's and Make a little money several ways to know what I'm Perfect. <laughs> As a little, y'all know y'all heard that before. Somehow, some way, on one of these videos. Like it's a whole market out here. You can go to flea markets. You can find some J's that are not ate up. Is in. Holes and burns and stuff like that, but if it can be just painted, come on, bro. Buy them jumps for the glow, paint them up, sell them for the high again. What you think Carmart is doing with them cars? They take them fucked up cars. Excuse me, I, ain't, I probably don't put myself in Facebook jail now. But they take them fuck it up, up with the cars and they put, you know, the engine back in. They tweak it up and they give it a tune up and they sell it to the public for higher than. What is it supposed to be done? Nobody sit, nobody sits there and talk noise and be laughing then, do they? Hmm. Why say? Do what you gotta do. Find you a hustle. Find your niche. And when you find your niche, don't worry about what folks got to say. I got a nephew. Um, he recently got married. Shout out to y'all. He is a pro angler. So imagine what the hood would say. You know what I mean? But I, I already commended him on what he do. He did what he wanted to do. You gotta stop listening to N I G G A and do what you want to do, what you love. And they pay him to go fish. They pay him to sell lures and all kind of stuff. This, this guy got a contract, a contract. My daddy taught him what he knows. He taught himself the rest. Cannot be mad at that. So, that's it right there. The black don't need nothing. You know what I mean? The black does not need anything because it's white that's painted over the black. So that midsole, that midsole, hmm, I see something right there. Sit this 
wrenching. And let's take a look at it. They clean, they laced up. Sometimes I see two shows a night. Are you really sure? Because you can't travel with them. Exactly. Well, they got a lot you tell me which one you like the best. The one that was taped or the one that was uh, exactly. not taped. <laughs> but it's more it's more than one way to skin a cat. And at the end of the day, when the cat is skinned, nobody cares about how it got skinned. As long as it's skinned. You feel me? You don't have to respect what I do. You can respect the shoe. I don't care. But this is, has to be done. Somebody has to paint this regardless. So here's your taped off one. But I see the spot right here. Like I say, this this is rubber. The rubber um, that touches the ground, it will not accept paint. But that midsole will. So just take something, scratch it. And I think I see a spot. Could be tripping on. I think I am. Yeah, I am. So here's your taped off one. Frills Nash. Frills Nash White. That means fresh. I ain't got time. Y'all hear me. There's the one that was non taped. I think this one came out better. Either you can sleep on me, or you can let me refurbish your shoe for you or something. You can try to do it yourself, but are you really going to do it? Look, let me tell you what you don't do. You see this right here? This ain't even open, because this don't go on that, okay? It's acry acrylic all day long. But... This is acrylic leather. Stays on the rubber and the whole nine. And this acrylic right here can paint anything else you want to paint. It'll paint this cup. But I wouldn't dare put this leather paint on no wood and all that other stuff. No, man. This right here costs a lot of money. But it goes a long way. You see, I didn't just slather it all over the... Uh, I didn't slather that all over the paintbrush. And at the end of the day, we got these fresh white put on. I do still see a little spot though. Look at that. And what we're gonna do is put some Carolina matte finish. Yeah, that's a spray paint. And then I'll get that together later on. So what we can do, we can heat set it, but I see my, my blow dryer is nowhere near me right now. So that was, that's what I normally would do is heat set that. Because that way I know that, you know, if the paint is going to flex, bubble, or do what it's going to do, it'll do it with me right now. But for the most part, it shouldn't do anything but just stay on and be great. And we're not going to keep these together or none of that. You're just going to let them dry. And then I'm going to show you this upside down. So it's going to Priority Mail in the morning. Now, what I did try to do, do I have them near me? Yeah. I got a LeBron. This is a 3Y LeBron. Hit me up if you need that. I got a 3Y Chuck Tills Dazer. 
<laughs> a low, a low Chucky. Three Y. Who else? I got a pair of Air Max, uh, some cool gray Air Maxes over there too. But I don't feel like grabbing. Show them what Mag 357 Guns. Appreciate y'all for watching this. This is the finished product. This is going out tomorrow in the mail. And uh, the guy paid 30 bucks to get this shipped out to him. And it's gone. Okay? Show me Mag 357 Guns. Live, learn, love, and grow. One.